Okay, Saturday, 13th of April, 2024. So, remember the dead, honour, respect, and remember the dead. People who have gone before us, famous people, geniuses, people in the past who have changed life, have pushed and done something worthwhile. Right now, I'm in Bride Graveyard in Northern Ireland to visit this little grave here of a famous comedian that I cared about and you know watched his movies years ago sir norman wisdom very nice 4th of october 2010 nice i remember a few things so 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 two two interesting lessons here one remember the dead sir norman wisdom and a few months ago i did a tribute on gonzalo lira because these people changed the world in their own way they made history they 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 impacted they pushed they made a dent in the world and the universe. They, they did things, their the energy, their the karma, you could say. Their character created change in the world in some fashion. You know, gone, remembered with a laugh. Gone but not forgotten, that's the key. Gone but not forgotten. So you can die, but your legacy, your impact in the world, the things you created, the things you did while you were alive, the content, we would say, still lives on lives on forever. The ideas, you know, the ideas, the ideas or entertainment or the memories, those things arguably last forever. Those things go on. So we have to remember the fallen people, like Norman Wisdom, like Gonzalo Lira, because these people change the world in their own way. And it's, it's just my way, my little tribute of going to the grave and, you know, having shown respect to them. Because about, about a year ago, I went to Winston Churchill's grave near Oxford, and then back in July 2021, when I was in Edinburgh, I went to Adam Smith's grave. Nice and nerdy, you know, a Scottish economist. Very nice. So just respect and remember the dead. Remember their, their, their contribution to the world and society or humanity or, or civilization as a whole or life and everything. Just remember that. That's powerful. Very, very powerful. And, you know, because the, if this person died, the closest, you know, they're dead, the closest you can go to meeting them is the grave. You know, they died before you were born, things like that, you know, practicality, you know. Um, the other thing, or the important thing to understand is, you could say, this is weird, you go all that way to visit a grave? It's like, that's weird, like, why? What, eh, Ooh, why, weird? What does it matter? It's less so about the grave insofar, in, insofar as a man, insofar as the goals and objectives, because if a man, if I want that, or this, or those, I want something. I'm gonna go ahead and bend reality, get a flight, travel, get a, get a rental car, get an Airbnb and make it a reality as opposed to just making it a dream and just, oh, I want this, I want that, no matter what. I'm actually going out there into the world and doing it. So for example, in December 2020, 2022, I went to Budapest, Hungary, to visit a little statue of Satoshi Nakamoto. That's pretty cool. And um, it wasn't so much about the statue itself, it was the pilgrimage, to see it, to touch it. And, and I want to see that statue, I want that, I want, I want, I want, Whew. make it happen. That's powerful. As a man, that's powerful. You bend reality to your will, you, you organise, you plan, you create, you, you, cr you prioritise, you, 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 you make things happen. That's powerful. And if I want to go see Satoshi Nakamoto's statue, Adam Smith's statue, Winston Churchill statue, Norman Wisdom statue, to pay respects, because I want to do that, and to pay respects and to remember their contribution to the world, or civilization, or humanity in their own way, in their own fashion, or because they're famous and they're very unique people, and they died, you know, Winston Churchill died before I was born, and, and so did Adam Smith, so you can't meet them. The closest you can go to meeting them, apart from reading their books or literature or whatever else, is their grave, like physically meet them. So it's unique ways of doing it. And as a man, you want to go out into the world and, and do stuff, create stuff, and bend reality to your will. And if I want to go to the grave of numb and wisdom, you can think whatever, you can think, have any opinions of being in a graveyard, but it's, it's like, a, like a, like you can't fault the man for doing what he says he's gonna do and achieving what he wants. That's priceless, priceless, like respect, admiration if he wants something if he wants that he doesn't care about anything else if he wants that and he achieves it top props that's amazing you know you can't fault him powerful powerful stuff so remember the dead and gonzalo lira yeah 
I did a um, tribute to him a few months ago in January. I'm quite confident it was. Um, of his contribution in terms of freedom of speech or whatever else. So, yes. So, remember the dead. Remember their impact in life and in society, humanity, in the big picture. You know, I had, um, I was planning in 2023 to have a road trip around, um, well, fr to, around, around Spain, which meant I would have driven through France. And I was thinking about going to Charles de Gaulle's grave there as well, in France, in uh, eastern France. But, you know, that idea never materialised. So I was like, okay, fine, not, not a disaster. You know, I don't, I, I don't need to be everywhere, but, you know, the more places we can see and visit and touch, the better. Amazing. Just showing tribute, caring, powerful, powerful stuff, you know. Remember the dead, show respect, and go out and achieve things. Do stuff in life, powerful stuff. But otherwise, you will see me tomorrow.